hello everyone and welcome to a new video mc mora here and in today's video we're gonna talk about the upcoming balance patch for street fighter 5 it is supposed to be the final balance patch for the game and we still don't know when it's coming out uh, the update said that it should be out in march obviously we're still at the beginning of the month i know that there is an open japanese tournament on the 12th uh, on this uh, month but I mean, if they're waiting for like mid or late March, that's kind of lame. Uh, but anyways, today I wanted to talk about what I would like to see change uh, in this upcoming balance patch. And uh, I'm going to talk about a bunch of characters in this video that I would like to see adjusted in one way or another. And if your character or if the character that you're not interested in isn't in this video, then I guess I'm sorry. But we got quite a good number of them. And I wanted to talk about the V-Shift mechanic before all of that. And remember, this is my personal wish list, right? This is the stuff that I wish myself. It's not all gonna be reasonable. Some of them are gonna be ridiculous. Starting with the first one, and that is... I would like to see Cody getting better reward from his anti-airs. Uh, I would love to see maybe his standing heavy punch, if it happened to hit it's a counter hit, would put the opponent in a juggle state maybe, or like he gets the ability to um, like maybe have more plus frames to like dash under for a reset. I know Cody is amazing and I said it is my personal wish list. not everything is gonna be reasonable here, right? So this is something that I would like to see. Obviously, like I said, the character is fairly strong, but if there is one thing that bugs me about Cody, it is his anti-air game, especially since the standing heavy bunch. I mean, you can empty jump around it, so if you know what you're doing against him, it's certainly a weakness you can play around. And uh, next, I'm gonna talk about my other main character, which is Poison. Now, Poison is ridiculous. A lot of people think she is very strong and very top tier. And uh, I will agree with that and because she is my character and because I love sheep characters and Poison is a top tier waifu, I wish Poison would stay the same. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous, like I said, I mean, take it with a grain of salt. Obviously, a Poison player would love to play a bullshit version of Poison. But yeah, I would like to see Poison remain the same. Now, there is something that could negatively impact her and it is the changes that I want to V-Shift and for V-Shift what I would love to see is a change to how it works in terms of the meter gain what I would like to see is when you successfully V-Shift an attack you don't get half the bar back the current situation in Street Fighter 5 is whenever you V-Shift an attack you get half of that bar back so a successful V-Shift is only half of your V bar and uh, obviously some characters can combo into their V skills so like you can V shift get half of your bar back then do a combo that will uh, have your V your V skill in it and you got like your entire bar back it's, it's kind of ridiculous right so I wish that they would take this away and make it so that you only get the bar back if you happen to use the V break otherwise you just V shift and uh, I do think maybe increase the recovery on whiff. If you happen to successfully V-Shift something, maybe you should uh, like be able to punish better. But if you just did it on whiff, I think you should have more recovery. It should be easier to punish people for V-Shifting. Currently, I think it's a little bit too strong. And some characters struggle in some situations far too much for my own taste, in my opinion. I think it made the game little bit more unbalanced that's my opinion right and uh, next up I'm gonna talk about another character that really interests me personally and that is Lucia and uh, unfortunately Lucia is one of these characters that never really got to see uh, the daylight uh, she never shines pretty much right she was, there was never a time where Lucia was a threat there were a bunch of big names that tried to play Lucia, like Sako played her a little bit. I believe Gamer B for a little bit, Shine for a little bit, but I I I I, I didn't see anyone really make Lucia work, which is unfortunate. I wish that the character would uh, be a little bit less stubby, so I maybe give her a little bit more range on her attacks, like the medium punches specifically. Um, 
I, I'm not sure like how, how can you make Lucia better without turning her into a very uh, samey character to say Karen and Cammy is it's kind of difficult but she's a character that I wish would get adjusted in a way that would make her stand out a little bit and uh, be strong unfortunately I think the only way they can play around with her is if maybe they changed her run and made it a little bit better but that is still kind of gimmicky and I wouldn't like to see the character being better that way or maybe like give her insane damage output but again That'll be kind of annoying so i guess we'll see but i would like to see lucia get better in the same vein i would like to see rose get better now these two characters for me are very similar but rose i do think have seen some success she's a character that was played in a bunch of the uh, cbt events this year i believe filipino man made top eight with her in one of the u.s uh, tournaments so Rose did actually see some play and obviously a lot of names like Sako played her uh, like I said Filipino man and Justin Wong bunch of others but I would like to see Rose get buffed to her medium normals the issue with Rose is that the ranges where like say Kami or a Karen would harass you with a standing medium kick that range is very weak for Rose. Her heavies do have a lot of range, but her mediums and lights are extremely stubby. Like it's very difficult to target combo punish a point blank dash punch by Balrog, which is that is insane. So I think this is a character that should get some love and uh, hopefully be made a little bit better. I think she needs it really. And uh, next up, I want to talk about Kage because Kage is also one of the characters where people really try to make work but uh, unfortunately so far it's not happening Kage unfortunately have I guess you could say the worst neutral in the game like he might genuinely have the worst neutral in the game he still have a decently uh, fine uppercut and the fireball is not the worst so maybe the worst neutral is a bit too harsh but his neutral is really really bad and in a season where everyone gets to reset the neutral his pressure is very is it's decent I, I can't say in good conscience that his pressure is amazing but it is fairly decent uh, and his damage output the burst damage potential on Kage is very high but unfortunately the neutral is such a hindrance and he have such low HP and it's just very hard to make Kage work I feel like you're always fighting an uphill battle with him and that just that, that, that's not gonna cut it in a high level setting consistently which is uh, very unfortunate on the same note and uh, this is again somewhat selfish but I do wanna uh, I do have to say it I would like to see Ken lose the Oki on his EXTP and I know this is a thing that have been in the game forever since season 1 and Ken had Oki on his EXTP but given how strong his neutral is right now and he pretty much could be the character who have the best punishes in the game uh, his damage output is very strong, his whiff punishing is very strong, the fireball game is kinda nice at the moment, Shin Ryukin is amazing, a character that is seeing decent play and decent success, and obviously a very popular character, and like I'm not kidding you, I feel like 70% of my matchmaking pool are Ken players, which is kinda funny, but yeah, Ken is very prevalent right now, and EXDP into Oki just feels so weird in this game. Like compared to everyone else, I, 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 I at the moment I fail to see why Ken specifically gets to have it, right? So maybe normalize him and make it so that he doesn't get straight Oki, or maybe give it to everyone else. I don't know, but I would I wouldn't want to see a game where EXDPs are that strong, especially when we have V shift and uh, V reversal back dashes, you know delay tick and all of that stuff so i would like to see the risk reward on his exdb be adjusted a little bit that is a change that i would like to see and uh, another one that interests me is gonna be jury and 
Ajuri is obviously a very fan favorite. I will admit she's a character that I didn't care for or like that much uh, until I made the Juri guide and ever since that I, I, I really warmed up to her and I liked her a lot. She is really fun to play and is a lot of work. I don't think Juri is a bad character but the issue with Juri is that she is far too much work for the reward. right? If there is a character like say for example Yurian, Yurian is a lot of work, right? But the reward is there. Uh, believe it or not, because I and I believe it now because I have made the guide, I do think Guile is a lot of work, but the reward is worth it. So the issue with Yuri is that the reward just isn't there, right? Uh, she's not awful, I think she's a solid mid-tier, but I would like to see her more prevalent, uh, be more prevalent because the character is really cool, right? I mean, Nash saw his moment in the sun, Ryu saw his moment in the sun, even though it was season 1 and early, but still, he got some play, Sean got some play, Kami got some play, a lot of the big names of the Street Fighter series got their uh, chance. Juri only had it with one specific player, to be honest, and uh, even then she was a secondary, I mean, let's be real here, and I don't know, I, I wish to see more of her, uh, if I'm being honest. Probably maybe g give her like an EX store, I, I never understood why Juri never had an EX store that would just instantly give her the three stocks immediately, right? Feels like a very easy change that would buff the character a good bit, and um... I mean, obviously, you kind of have to go to the drawing board with her because the way she's designed make it hard to play her. But it, it, it does it does feel like the reward for storing is still not where it is. Maybe make the medium kick Fuha an overhead that could be powerful, but obviously make it really negative on non cancelable on block. Like you have to compensate for it somehow. But that would make jury. I mean that would work on the lower and intermediate level, but on the higher level, I think medium kick Fuha is still gonna be somewhat reactable, and the reward is gonna be too high because obviously, I mean you're gonna cancel into it from a cancelable normal, so it is readable, but it's gonna be the same thing as like poisons ex love me tender, you know? It's a change that I've seen a lot of jury player ask for, but I don't think it's gonna change things that much. So who knows? Uh, obviously, Chun Li is a character I would like to see adjusted. I wish Chun Li would get a new move that will allow her to anti air from the mid range so that you don't have to do standing light kick anymore. Because currently, having to second guess every single jump with Chun, if the opponent, I mean, you're guessing if the opponent is gonna empty jump your back heavy kick or if they're just gonna do air jumping normal. Uh, unfortunately, once you get to the levels where people are aware of that, or if you're fighting someone who knows the matchup really well, it becomes really obnoxious to play Shun Li. Obviously, you will see some Japanese players doing amazing work with Shun, and uh, you will think Shun is fine, but Japanese players play in a very respectful way. They don't really play around the air game and her uh, blind spot when it comes to anti air. I mean. <laughs> You've probably seen a billion of like Daigo versus Santoru chan, or uh, I believe that's how you say his name. And Santoru chan, you know, he holds his own, but obviously Daigo doesn't jump. <laughs> so it's like if you're fighting Chun Li exclusively on the ground, yeah, she's gonna be good, but jump at her and the 50 50s is gonna, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it sucks to fight against someone, you know, it's, it sucks that just the opponent holding up forward is a mix up, you know what I mean. That kind of sucks, and um, what I want to talk about it are Mika as well because our Mika is obviously one of my favorites. She is absolutely one of my favorites. I wish actually she would be in uh, Street Fighter 6, finger crossed, uh, but I would love to see our Mika getting some love. Uh, I doubt it will ever happen to be honest because a lot of players don't like fighting Armika, but in the current meta, Armika is a really hard character to make work, especially on a consistent level. That is unfortunate. I wish I wish she'd be more prevalent. What I would change with Armika is give her a new normal that is a cancelable low. I think Armika deserves to have a cancelable crouching medium kick. 
because what is she gonna get right at at best she's gonna get crouching medium kick into peach maybe crouching medium kick into ex peach I, you still don't get that good of an Oki off of it anyways so I, I it's not a dramatic change I don't think it's something that will make her a lot better but Armika currently have such a hard time binning down people and the reward on her going for the command grab is so low compared to the risk that I feel like she struggles far too much and the game now I mean crouching medium kicks are the name of the game right so obviously she also lacks uh, the way to extend her pressure one thing that a lot of people don't realize is how good Laura is at extending her pressure thanks to having the uh, V skill command dash and the EX fireballs that will give her enough plus frames to kind of continue on with her block sequences a lot of Laura's normals move her forward as well so it's a lot easier to stay close to your opponent with Laura than it is with Armika. Armika you kind of will get out and then you'll have to make your work in again or maybe use your Sobat or like a charged drop kick or like a crouching heavy punch and even then you're not really plus. It's kind of rough, it's kind of rough for the beachy pomper out there. And uh, finally two characters I wish to uh, to go over quickly. The first one is Dalsim. Um, He's a public enemy, obviously I think people finally realized how powerful Dalsim is. I was one of the people who didn't actually realize his potential but this season I feel like we got to know how powerful Sim can be and obviously I would like to see some changes to him. I would like to see the rush down aspect of Sim kind of adjusted, specifically the dive kick. I think his dive kicks need to be uh, more, uh, I would say add more recovery to it so that he doesn't uh, get as much plus frames because they're really plus and even if you happen to v-shift it he is plus most of the time, believe it or not. So I would like to see this adjusted and uh, I mean Dalsim having the best dive kick in the game is kind of ridiculous to be honest. So that is an issue. Another one is uh, Yoga Gale. I think Yoga Gale being Blossom Block is ridiculous, to be honest again. Uh, maybe selfish, obviously, uh, like this is a selfish request, but I would like to see it be minus two at best, right? It's, it knocks down, he get, it's like he can do it in, in a very low height restriction. Uh, Dalsim taking using teleport or waking up with instant air teleport or instant air yoga gale is a legit powerful option now add v shift and he have such a good defense that I honestly 70% of the cast don't have as good of a wake up defense as sim does believe it or not just because of how yoga gale is so that's kind of that's kind of strong <clears throat> and finally I'm gonna talk about Luke because Luke is public enemy number one at the moment, uh, believe it or not. Uh, he is a character who I said very early is probably top five in when I made the tier list. It was kind of early. A lot of people said, Mura, it's early, but you know now everyone has seen his potential. And I still think he can actually be better. I still see a lot of players not being optimal with him. And I think he's, he, he's, the sky is the limit for Luke. Now, the one thing that I would change immediately about him is gonna be the V-Trigger. I would like to see some changes to his fireballs as well. Maybe tones him down slightly. But the one thing I will say about Luke is that having played him a lot, he's such a fun character. Like, he is a fun character to play. He feels like you're cheating, but at the same time, you know, it, it, it's, it's fun. I don't know what to say. Uh, obviously, we know he's in Street Fighter VI. And uh, out of him and Ryu, I would 100% play Luke. So maybe change the fireball and change how his V trigger work in terms of the meter gain. And the speed of the V trigger one fireball, I think, is a little bit too much. Needs to be adjusted immediately. I would also nerf his damage output a little bit because Luke's damage output is far too much at the moment. Maybe make the heavy bunch knuckle minus four so that at least it's unsafe and isn't so brain dead that you can just throw out at any time. And I think if they did all of that, Luke will be in a pretty powerful spot where a careful player can still make him work, use her footsies, it's his footsies, and really good fireball and everything. But you know. 
it would be a lot more fair i guess and uh, that is pretty much it i'm sorry if the video is too long or like too rambly uh, but these are the characters that i care about and would like to see adjust in one way or another obviously we still don't know when the balance patch is gonna come out hopefully not by the end of the month because i'm gonna be ultra busy uh, at that time but i guess we will have to just wait and see if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like or a comment it helps the channel so much i will be leaving the link to the patreon page the discord server twitter and twitch pages in the description thank you very much for watching and stay safe